We call the Board of Mayor Alderman meeting for Tuesday, September the 12th to order. Our opening prayer will be by Christopher, Christopher Barnes. Is he in the audience? Going once, twice. I don't see him. So I'd ask uh, Alderman, uh, Alderman King if he would do the, lead us in the opening prayer. So if you please rise, remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to come uh, in a city that opens with prayer. And we uh, thank you for the city that we live in, the administration and the leaders of this city, Lord. We ask you to be over this meeting. We ask you to give us wisdom during the decisions that we make for the community. And Lord, we just lift every family, every child, and every person up in our city tonight. I know there's needs out there. And... Uh, we just ask you to be with them, <clears throat> comfort them, keep us all safe, Lord, and thank you for all that you've given us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, Madam Clerk, will you read the future meetings into the record, please? Parks and Recreation Advisory Board, September 14th at 6 p.m. Historic Preservation Commission, September 18th at 7 p.m. Bartlett Arts Council, September 19th at 6 p.m. Bartlett Performing Arts and Conference Center Advisory Board, September 19th at 6 p.m. Design Review Commission, September 19th at 6.30 p.m. Thank you, Madam Clerk. At this time, we move to recognitions. And we do not see any scouts in the in the audience, so um, we move to the official business of the day. The first item under approval is uh, of minutes is the minutes of the August 17th, 2023 Board of Mayor and Auburn special called meeting. The chair would entertain a motion to approve if there's no corrections, omissions, or errors. Move we approve. Been properly motioned. Second, I'm not sure who that was, but uh, <laughs> is there any discussion? You're hearing no discussion. Please go to your device and cast your votes for the minutes, please. Minutes from the August 17th meeting passes. Now moving to Madam Crook, I'll let you read that in the record. Minutes of the August 22nd, 2023 Board of Mayor and Alderman regular meeting. Is there any corrections, omissions, errors in that regard? Seeing none, Chair would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Improperly motioned. Motioned by Alderman King and second by Vice Mayor Jack Young. Any discussion on item number two? Hearing none, please go to your device and cast your vote for the record. Uh, minutes from the August 22nd passes unanimous. And I would say, Miss Monique, it's good to have you with us tonight. I think this is your first official meeting, so greetings. I'm sorry. Uh, we move to unofficial business. Under unofficial business is item number one. Madam Clerk, please read that in the record, please. Resolution 25-23, a resolution approving a special use permit to allow a vehicle wash establishment to be located at 5905 Stage Road within the CGMS General Business with Main Street Overlay Zoning District. Ms. Kim Tuttle, we have anything, an explanation from the city? Uh, nothing new from the last meeting, but if you'd like me to present it again, I'll do so. Does the board feel like you have any questions? Thank you, Ms. Taylor. So at this time, <clears throat> uh, Chair would entertain a motion to uh, approve or deny. I move we approve. Motion has been properly made. Second, just above all. Been properly, the motion was made by Vice Mayor Jack Young and seconded by Alderman David Rees. Is there any discussion? I'd like to 
just make one point. I understand that there's a lots of uh, opposition to this, and I understand and respect your opinion. But uh, but I would also like to remind you that we've had two public hearings, and a total of four people out of the city have spoken against it. We've also had a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission, which is the, one of the bodies we asked to make those type recommendations. So I, I just would ask that, you know, vote the way you want to vote, but just don't remember that those facts are facts. Thank you. Anyone else have the desire to speak at this time? Call the question. Okay, some questions have been called, so please go to your device and cast your votes. Motion, uh, motion, resolution 2523 fails. Moving to the consent agenda. The consent agenda, we have seven items. Any, any member of the board may remove any item for a separate discussion and vote if they wish. Seeing no one wishing to remove any item from the consent agenda, Madam Clerk, will you read the consent agenda into the record, please? Item 1, Special Event Permit for Memphis Classic Chevy Club October Car Show. Item 2, Authorization to Auction Surplus Property. Item 3, Purchase of Dodge Durangos. Item 4, Bid for Partial Roof at Public Works Administration. Item 5, Minimum Bond Subdivision Contract for Village at Deer Run, Phase 2. Item 6, Contract for Paving Assessment and Management Services. Item 7, Facility Maintenance Fee Payment to the Tennessee Department for Environment and Conservation for Fiscal Year 2024. So all seven items have been read into the record. Been motion made by Alderman David Reeves. Second. Seconded by Alderman Robert Griffin. So is there any discussion on the consent agenda? So please go to your device and cast your vote, please, on the, the consent agenda. Consent agenda passes unanimously. So we move to new business. Uh, first item under new business is item number one. Uh, Madam Clerk, will you read that into the record, please? Appoint Josh McNeil to the Industrial Development Board. Josh has put his application in some time ago, and uh, we believe that the talents that he brings to the table fits best for the Industrial Development Board. So I present Josh McNeil to you. Second. Properly Motion properly made by... Dave uh, Alderman Reeves and seconded by Vice Mayor Jack Young. Is there any discussion on item number one? I just want to say I'm, I'm excited to have uh, Josh McNeil on the, on the board um, and uh, look forward to what he can bring to the city. Uh, thank you all for nominating him. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyone else have anything they wish to say? Seeing no one else, uh, seeing no one else with a desire to speak, Madam Clerk, will you present the roll to the board, please? have a unanimous vote I think uh, Mr. McNeil's at the back of the room thank you for coming Josh and uh, we look forward to look forward to your service to the Industrial Development Board moving to item number two Madam Clerk will you read it in the record please resolution 30-23 resolution to adopt amendment number two to the city of Bartlett Tennessee retirement plan for an explanation is our finance director Mr. Dick Phoebus this resolution comes to us from the uh, Retirement Board is recommended by our legal counsel. And actually, uh, I put a report to the board included in the uh, summary, and it's really a clarification of language that's contained in the 555 plan. So I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have, but it's, uh, I will call it a housekeeping or a clarification bill. Good. If you'd like to get a motion before you ask any questions, if you would. So we move. approve. <clears throat> And properly made by Alderman King and seconded by Vice Mayor Jack Young. Is any any questions for Mr. Phoebus? Seeing no Ma I'm sorry. Mr. Phoebus, we should be really clear, at least for the employees, what's just for public consumption. What no no changes structurally. This is just a what the, is this? Uh, the five 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 plan a uh, member has to be uh, vested, which is five years as an employee. Uh, before they can withdraw uh, total funding. Uh, before the five years, they can withdraw their portion of it plus the interest, but they can't withdraw the uh, city's portion of it. 
and we found that uh, uh, several members who had less than five years, they were not vested, have uh, kept their money in the plan and continued to receive 5% on their balance of their funding. And that was not the intent of the 555 plan. So once they retire with less than five years, uh, their balance is frozen, except um, they can withdraw it with their portion plus any 5% five, any five interest that has accumulated while they were an employee. So this just reverts, corrects that language. So there's no document anywhere that leads them to believe that they would continue to accrue interest even though they had pulled it out. Well, the, the interpretation of the, uh, of the attorney for retirement board uh, did say at one time that uh, employees with, that did not get vested could draw. And I think our actuary actually said that they could draw. If we leave the money in the plan, they could draw an additional 5%. But according to the, the uh, attorneys that drafted the 555 plan, that was not the intent. So we're, we're taking that, we're leaving the money in there. If they want to uh, withdraw it, they can, but they will not receive 5% on that money if they're not vested. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? So hearing no discussion, uh, please present the roll. Cast your vote <clears throat> on Resolution 3023. Resolution 3023 passes unanimously. Uh, Madam Clerk, we read item number three in the in the record, please. Resolution 31-23, resolution to amend the fiscal year 2024 Bartlett City Schools General Purpose School Fund and AR, ARP Fund. Mr. Dick Phoebus. This resolution comes to us from the City School Board. They're amending their budget uh, by $545,000 for to provide maintenance for the buildings and also repairs at Dearmont Arturia parking lot. Mm -hmm. Motion we approve. Second. Properly motioned uh, by Alderman Rees and seconded by Alderman uh, Griffith. Uh, is there any, any questions? Quick question. Uh, did they give any context as to why they almost doubled their maintenance and repair budget? As to why they what? Well, they almost, they're adding 500000 to their maintenance and repair budget for this year. They almost doubled it in terms of, is there something that came up or is there a specific context as to why? I'm not sure the reason why they're just in including some repairs and, and maintenance to existing okay. buildings. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to hold it up. I'll just, if, if we could probably, if we, Dick, for maybe future budget amendments let's let's get like a caption sure. of exactly what they're what they're doing that's it thank you okay so i believe it's been is there any more discussion Ms. clerk will you please put the, the roll on the on the board resolution 3123 passes unanimously madam clerk we read item number four into the record please Resolution 32-23, resolution to amend the fiscal year 2024 general fund budget to provide funds for LED street flight conversion project. At this time, Mr. Dick Phoebus. This resolution completes the funding for the uh, <coughs> street light installation agreement. Uh, total funding comes from 1.35 million, which we transferred at the end of last year from uh, general fund. Two and a half million from the debt service fund transfer to the CIP fund, and this additional 452,646 will complete the funding for that project. As before, we put the motion on the floor. We've had several work sessions on the LED lighting and budget meetings spanning all the way back to March of this year. That was just in my administration, and there was several meetings even before that. So uh, we've been. Um, diligently working to on this contract for quite a while now and uh, so anyway we present uh, resolution 3123 to you tonight second properly motion and seconds any discussion hearing no discussion madam oh. clerk will you put the roll on the board please who was that mover 
Reeves motion. A motion. Reeves. Second. Me. Sorry, Madam Clerk, I didn't help out in that regard. Resolution 3123 passes unanimously. Now, Madam Clerk, will you read uh, item number uh, item number four in the record, please? Uh, Streetlight Conversion Agreement with Path Company, LLC. Okay, at this time, I'd like to... Uh, Move we approve. Second. Yeah. Been properly motioned and second. That was made by... Alderman Rees and seconded by Alderman Young. So, uh, is there any discussion on item number four? So, if that before, um, I would like to invite uh, Mr. William Franklin with PATH to come forward and discuss what happens tomorrow. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Board. Good to see everybody again. Alderman uh, Williams, nice to meet you earlier this evening. Uh, as, as Mayor Parsons referenced, we've, we've discussed this thing for a number of years, uh, going back before this administration came in. Uh, this is a project that PATH brought to the city. You know, shoot, it was back in early 2021, I believe, is when we maybe first started discussing it. We got approved formally by the city um, to go and really do some due diligence on it back in 2022, and we're here tonight finally to move this thing forward. So to, to the mayor's point, what happens tomorrow, because I promise you everybody is sitting on go, <laughs> ready to go with this thing. What happens tomorrow is orders get placed. Um, the good news is in the world of, of supply chain delays, which you feel like every single project falls into, um, this is not going to be the case on this project, at least not in, in the early stages of it. Um, the manufacturers that manufacture these, these fixtures that we're using, and again, these are MLG and W fixtures, um, or approved fixtures, I should say. The manufacturers have already made them. They're already sitting in their warehouses and they're ready to ship out immediately. Um, what's important for the city to recognize and maybe most important for the residents as they start to see this thing roll out is in total there's about 8,400 lights and roughly two-thirds of those, so 5,600 of them, are what we're calling residential fixtures. Um, we're going to start in that residential space um, and those are actually the fixtures that we'll receive first. So the idea is that tomorrow we'll place an order for fixtures. Early October, we've got crews rolling. It's a 10, 11, 12 week max sort of installation timeline, which puts us right at the end of December for full project completion. Um, you know, we've talked in detail in the past about what everybody's going to see. You know, we'll be pushing regular updates to the administration and to anybody that wants to receive them. Um, but all of our vehicles will have bucket trucks, of course, rolling through town. Um, those bucket trucks will be marked with, with PATH logos on them. Uh, our crews will, of course, have proper clothing and identification on. They'll all have uh, training on how to respond to public concerns and comments. Um, we'll have an installation map that will actually be made public. I believe there's going to be a, a, a link to it basically on the city's website so that any resident in town who's ever has questions about, hey, where are the crews working? Where are they going to be? When is my light, frankly, going to get installed? They'll have access to that information. Um, you know, Alderman Quinn asked that, it, that I, you know, maybe give a quick background to those that are unaware of PATH, um, maybe some in the public that don't know who we are. So we're based here in Memphis. Um, PATH Company is, uh, to date, the most experienced streetlight conversion firm uh, in this uh, TVA service area. We've, we've implemented more projects than all of our competitors combined. Um, these lights, I know Alderman Quinn also asked, and we got early uh, questions from some, some members of the public about what was the color temperature of these lights. They're 3,000 Kelvin fixtures. Um, this was a decision that was made in conjunction with MLG and W, who I should note serves as a partner to PATH on this project. Um, so this, this project really is... is testament to three different parties working together. It's the city, PATH Company, and MLG and W, and it will only be successful if those three parties continue to work together, and I have no reason to believe that won't be the case. Thank you. Is there any questions sure. for Mr. Franklin? Sorry, just a few quick questions. So, so how, many, how many crews do you anticipate? Yeah, so, so generally speaking, we're going to have six crews. Um, each crew per day, if you're trying to back into some math, each crew per day can knock out roughly 40 fixtures. Um, truthfully, sometimes they'll knock out 50, sometimes they'll knock out 35, but on 40 on average. What we'll do, though, is supplement periodically with crews as needs arise. So as an example, on some of your larger, more heavily trafficked roads, we have no desire, it's not good for anybody, if we stay on that road working for a long period of time. So we might bring extra crews in to knock those roads out quickly, um, whereas in the residential areas, you might see six crews kind of working at a pretty steady pace. But six crews is, is the kind of sitting number, if, 
if that helps answer okay. the question. Yeah, thank, well, I mean, you have shorter days pretty soon anyway. Yeah, so it's going to be absolutely. even more difficult. Sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, well, they can no work longer because they're putting up new street lights. Oh, that's, right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's true. I don't, I don't know what the OSHA requirements on that, but. Uh. <laughs> right, right. We won't get into that right now. Okay, thanks. Yeah. thanks <laughs> thank you, Mr. Franklin. Sure, thank you. At this time, please go to your device and cast your vote. All right. Uh, Resolution 3223 passes unanimously. Madam Clerk, you read item number five to the record, please. That was it. That was five. Was that number five? That's it. Open. Yeah. We had uh, uh, well, his own resolution. It was on five. Okay, good. I'm sorry. I slipped that's the wrong paper there. So we moved to open discussion, open to the board first, then to the directors. If any citizen could plead the open discussion citizens form, Prior to the start of the meeting, they may come forward, state their name and address for the record. The citizens have up to three minutes, at which time a buzzer will sound. They must sit down at the total time limit for open discussion is 20 minutes. And uh, so at this time, would have any board member has anything they'd like to say or announce? Seeing no one wishing to be recognized, is there any director have anything they wish to, to announce? We are told that the... Um, the crossing arm for the light down at Elmore at uh, Freeman Park was shipped Friday, not received Friday. So we should anticipate that any day now. We are moving forward to try to have that uh, signal light uh, working and functioning for the fall festival. So uh, you can see the parts that we have have been installed and being completed. I think uh, light, gas, and water will be there tomorrow to provide the power. So we're trying to move toward move forward with a goal to have that light functioning and usable by the fall festival. So uh, I need not see no other directors coming forward. So now we move to the to the public. If there's anybody in the room that wishes to come forward, please come to the podium at this time. Seeing no one coming forward, that concludes the Mayor Board of meeting for Tuesday, September the 20th. We have a motion to adjourn. So move. We have a second. Been properly motioned in second. Meeting adjourned.